Hi, I'm wearing one of my favorites, Hermes scarves, as a shirt today. And I did a separate video on how to make it a shirt. Um, I also did my makeup and that feels really good. I'm actually going to Bank of America to run some errands, which is a uh, big deal and a huge win when you're, you know, going through cancer treatment. Some days you can't even get out of bed. So I thought I would come on and vlog a little bit about um, a, a phone call that I had yesterday with one of my friends who is also um, diagnosed with breast cancer and going through cancer treatment. And it was just... <sighs> It was so nice to connect with her and um, be able to hold some space for what's going on with her. It's really hard because, you know, people want to be there for you and they want to understand what, you know, we're going through as um, breast cancer uh, thrivers. Uh, I call myself a breast cancer metathriver because I have um, metastases to the liver. And my friend yesterday found out or there were some some new new spots. And anytime, you know, the cancer grows or spreads, you just freak the fuck out. And you know, it's really, really hard to maintain a positive attitude when you're going through this. And we know as individuals who are dealing with cancer, how important it is to have a positive attitude. But I want to just like remind everybody, whether you have cancer or not, life is fucking hard and you do not have to have a positive attitude every fucking day. And when you get shit news, you are allowed to like be pissed and and feel sad and feel scared. And, um, you know, we don't have to be perfect or positive every day. I feel like it's totally normal to to be upset or or have a moment just like, you know, going through it when you get news like that, like. This is such a scary situation. Life in general is full of ups and downs and that's what makes it life. Dealing with breast cancer is just a de degree of like shittiness, but there's still shit that just happens that we all are just doing our best to, to deal with and not like totally lose our minds over. And it was just so nice to be able to talk to her about the fear of dying and being faced with this potential impending death because it's really difficult in our society to talk about that in general, let alone talk about it with your loved ones, your friends and your family who desperately don't want that to happen to you. But you know, when you have cancer and you've been given this diagnosis of a terminal um, disease, you can't help but think about your own mortality. And that's a real big mind fuck. I mean, give me a break. It's so hard to cultivate hope when you're stuck in this crazy in-between space of not knowing if you're gonna live or you're gonna die. And the reality is, is that that's how it is for everybody. It's it's just that we've assumed, you know, that we're going to live a long life and then you get a diagnosis or um, disorder or whatever and your, your plans are interrupted, right? Like it interrupts your plans, it interrupts your joy, it interrupts your goals, it interrupts your hope. It's like cancer is more than just an intruder in your body. It's an intruder of your dreams. And we are allowed to mourn 
the death of our dreams while we are still living and fighting this terrible um, dis-ease in our body. And talking to her just, I don't know. I, I hope it helped her. It, it helped me kind of like just be in the moment. Remember that there's going to be <laughs> shitty days and there's going to be great days. And today I decided that since I had to get up and go to Bank of America, um, I'm going to look like a fucking hot chica when I go to Bank of America. And maybe, maybe if I'm up for it, I might even hit up Trader Joe's because that's like what I can do in a day. Like I used to be this bad ass boss bitch working 60 hours a week, multiple jobs, seeing clients all the time multitasking so much and that's just not possible anymore like it's just not possible and so i give myself wins when they come and i feel like today feels like a like i'm doing a darn good job of living my life today so far i've done my graviola extract i've drank two cups of green tea i did my sound lounge which is right behind me and i meditated for 26 minutes with my affirmations um and then next up will be to eat some broccoli sprouts with a little bit of mustard seeds ooh, in a smoothie and um finish off with my evening cancer treatment protocol. Um, this is my week off of chemo, which I usually refer to as my, my good week. Um, I woke up today and my neuropathy and my fingers were really, really bad, but the fatigue seems to be manageable today. And I felt clear enough, um, to be able to like do my makeup and do this vlog and also do my how to wear um, and a red scarf as a shirt, which brings me joy. And I think no matter what's going on in your life, you have an opportunity to find joy in the smallest things, even when you're dealing with total bullshit. And for me, that is what has helped me get through the last um, almost two years. Um, she and I were talking a lot about my divorce and what that was like for me to have to go through during cancer treatment. And so I'm going to dedicate a vlog to, to that and like how hard, but also just how grateful I am to be in a space where I no longer feel uh, unloved. Um, that is so, so important is just find your people, find your friends, your family, your pets. My cats are everything to me. My friends and family are everything to me. And I feel more loved now than I ever have in my entire life. And that is because I'm allowing it in. I'm opening myself up to it. And I'm also cutting off anything that fucking stresses me out. Like if it, if it's taking up space in my precious energy right now, it's gotta go. And that's it. You know, this is my life that I'm fighting for and all of us are fighting for it. And we hopefully are gonna make the best of what we have, even if you have a terminal diagnosis. I have no idea if I'm gonna make it and be part of the 2%, which I truly believe I am, and I'm gonna fucking whoop it up. Or if I, you know, am not gonna make it, I don't know, but my 
job I feel like right now is to come to a place of peace with that reality. And I don't have to like it, but acceptance is truly the key to having peace and harmony in your life, regardless of what's going on. And that's my two cents for today, May 24th, 2023. Thanks for coming along on this journey with me. If you want to um, learn more about me or send me an email and find out what my protocol is for my cancer treatment regime, please visit my blog, which is livinggem.com and you can shoot me an email and ask me for my protocol or ask me any questions that you want. Um, I hope everybody has a beautiful and blessed day.